Good evening, everyone. I'm really tired. It's the end of the day. So it's time to talk about fatigue, decision fatigue, and coding guidelines. But uh, why do we need coding guidelines? I mean, you just make it work. If it compiles, if your tests pass, you're all fine. You commit, and, and that's it, right? Not really, not really. Well, code is written only once, but uh, we have to read it uh, so, so many times. If uh, you think about uh, Abel's and Sussman, they wrote in their uh, magnificent book that programs are meant to be read by humans and only incidentally for computers to execute, which means you should uh, focus on making it readable. But how frequently do we read it? Well, there were some, uh, some studies and uh, Uncle Bob, in one of his books, uh, quoted uh, these studies. And apparently, we read code at least 10 times more than well, we actually write it. We write it once. So we really need coding guidelines. But what do I mean about decision fatigue? Well, and how it will help how it will be helped by coding guidelines, how they are useful. Well, first they establish the expectations. You know that uh, if you look at a piece of code, what to expect, then uh, of course, if you follow the guidelines, you will receive less comments on style and names. It will take less time to actually understand the code. So it will be easier to find uh, bugs, to focus on things that are important it will lead to an increased quality. And therefore, well, you will have a longer life. You will not be cold during the nights because of uh, uh, insane production bugs and uh, all like that. But uh, yeah, what's common in these people, apart from that uh, they are all men? You will understand why. OK, I give you a few seconds to think about it. These people, they almost always wear the very same outfit. It's really famous, this uh, gray t-shirt, or not to mention Steve Jobs' uh, black garbo. But why do they do that? Well, because of decision fatigue. Because each decision you make during a day has a cost. And your willpower has its limits. There is only so much uh, decisions that uh, you can make during the day. Your willpower will not work at the end of the day unless you, you create uh, the habit or other forcing rules to, to enforce you. How many decisions do you think we make during a day? Maybe 10, 100, 1,000? Well, according to studies, a, ch a child makes about uh, three to 4,000 decisions a day. And we adults, we make more than 30,000. So we really have to limit on what we spend uh, on this uh, willpower, this uh, decision-making power. And the uh, coding guidelines are a great uh, help on limiting uh, this fatigue, because you will not go on for because of the coding style. It doesn't matter where you put your braces, if you use camel case or snake case. What, what uh, is important that uh, you keep the code in a consistent state, that uh, your coding guidelines are there to make uh, small decisions instead of you. You just follow the guidelines. You don't have to, to, to dec decide all the time. Uh, should I use this style, this style? No, it's done. Invest your energy in activities with a higher, much higher added values than, uh, than such things. So I would like you to, to do this if you haven't done so. Check out our industry guidelines. Just uh, like Tina said, it's uh, really important to, to check uh, the ISO guidelines or, or whatever you maybe already have uh, in, uh, in your uh, in your company guidelines. Add your extra rules if you need and enforce the rules because uh, it's also not very, uh, 
very good to always post, you know, these comments in code reviews that, hey, check your style, check your style. No, you can use, for example, uh, Clang format, and it will be done for you automatically. Automate the formatting. Thanks.